friends, today I have another cute and easy crafty idea for you. This is using a collapsible storage container I actually got at the Dollar Tree. It is nine by nine by eight, so it's a really good size. I've seen these at Target and Walmart too, but not for a dollar. And what I like about these as well is they are really durable. They are not flimsy at all. And I love the burlapy uh, material on this, so it just makes it really vintage and farmhousey if that is the look that you're going for. And the size is great to stick in like remotes if you have it next to your TV, magazine, kiddos toys, in your bathroom, so many different uses for it. So we're just gonna elevate the cuteness of these with adding a little bit of stencil on them. And of course, I couldn't resist adding some black and white ribbon. So the supplies you're gonna need for this little project is one of these storage containers from the Dollar Tree. Then you're gonna need some sten the stencil. This is actually from Michaels, which I used a coupon for, but you can get it on Amazon as well. I just love the old world numbers on them. And this is great because you can use any numbers that you'd like. Then you're gonna need some painter's tape. This just makes it easier and helpful. You're gonna need some chalk paint. I am using this black chalk paint from Michaels. And you're also gonna need a stencil brush. And I actually get my stencil brushes at the Dollar Tree, and so you can invest in a few, and you'll always have these stencil brushes handy. It's no need to have to invest in expensive stencil brushes and a hair dryer to dry this really quick. So let's get started. All right, so to begin, you're gonna use painter's tape to tape around. This kind of acts as a barrier in case you stencil out of the lines, but it also adheres the stencil to the canvas. So uh, just, it's a little bit of a twofer. Um, so just use some painter's tape because this peels off really nice. So once you adhere, this I'm going in the center and I'm starting at the very edge that's kind of using my um, guidelines for and now you're just gonna take some of the, your paint I just use a plate because then I can just throw it out afterwards but you if you have a little uh, paint palette or whatever you can use that too so I'm just gonna dab a little bit of the paint and then dab a lot of it out because you really don't want to go too heavy so you're almost gonna be dry brushing it so I just then take it and then I use my hand as well to keep it down and then you're just going to you know, stencil it, doing little dabs, just like this, and just keep dabbing in, going out. Keep your fingers on it, so you, and just keep going like this until it's done. Okay, so once I have kept dabbing like this, again, you're not brushing this on. You could, of course, brush it on um, with the stencil, but I just like dabbing it like this and then just to create the layer of color that I want. I want it to not be a thick coat of paint, but of course, you could paint this as well, but I like to stencil it um, doing this so you kind of get that vintage-y look. So once it's done, I let it air dry for a few minutes before I peel it off um, and then I'll you hit it with a hairdryer, but you definitely want to um, let it air dry for a few minutes first and then peel it off and then use your hairdryer because you don't want to put this on uh, your number until this is dry or it could smudge that too. So we're gonna um, dry this and then hit it with a hairdryer after I remove this and then we'll move on to the number. Okay, so it's been drying for a few minutes and now I'm just going to carefully Remove the stencil and voila, easy as that. Um, so now I'm just going to use my hair dryer to dry this and then I'm going to go to step two and add the number. Now, once that is dry, I'm going to take my stencil and add the number next to it and do the same thing, taping it so it adheres to that, and then we'll start stenciling that one. Okay, so I have my number three now. I did not wash this yet. Um, if I was doing a number that this would be near, I would have washed this first. This comes removes very easily with just some warm, soapy water. So I'm just gonna wash this all at once. If this, if I was using a six and this was actually gonna be touching the canvas, I may have gone and washed it. But because this is not on the um, canvas, I'm not worried about washing it. I'll wash it in a minute, so I'm not doing double the work. So anyways, I'm going to do the same method again. Take my paint, dab some off 
and start doing the number three. Once that's done, I'm gonna let this air dry for a few minutes before I remove the stencil, and then I will use a hair dryer to dry completely. And that's done, and I can add a bow, and this project is done to display anywhere for a really cute, inexpensive project. Okay, it is dried, so now we are going to just remove the stencil like we did before. And there we go, I will go and wash that with some hot, warm, soapy water, and we'll just Finish drying it with a hairdryer. Okay, now it is all dry, so I can open it up like this and add this that comes with it. And you have a super cute container to use in your home or you can take it a step further and add a cute little bow, which I am going to do next. So with just a stencil and this cute little container from the Dollar Tree, you can make these. And I just, again, love that burlapy for that very farmhousey look. Um, again, you can add the bow or not, and it's just so, so cute and such an easy project to just embellish those little containers to use anywhere in your home. Thank you guys so much for watching.